friends, welcome. So this is going to be one of my first get ready with me videos. I have my kids homeschooling right in front of me so you might hear them. It's very, it's a very relaxed um, video. I have nothing on my face. My two year old, almost two year old, he'll be two this month, is watching a TV show right now, hopefully. He stays in the living room. If he comes in here, it's okay. He can show up in the video. It's all good. This is a very chill, chill video. <laughs> so let's get to it. I'm gonna prime using my Stay Matte by Rimmel. Like I said, I don't look very pretty right now, guys. My hair is just thrown up. Um, you can probably hear my kids in the background. They might be a little loud. But it's all good. Okay, we got a primer now for foundation. I usually go a little light, but I have an event tonight. I have a funeral. So um, I want my foundation to last the whole day. I can always add to my makeup um, towards the night, but I want my foundation to last all day. So that's why I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm in the shade 0. 0.5. So here we go. And there, I'm gonna stay like this all day. Not. All right, I'm gonna get my favorite uh, my favorite foundation brush, with, which is the Airbrush Blurring Foundation 101 brush by It Cosmetics. Also, September is here, woo woo! I love September because it's the beginning of the fall and fall is my favorite season. Even though here in South Florida, there really is no change as far as weather, honestly. But um, yeah, all those pumpkin spice stuff and everything comes out. It's pumpkin, pumpkin spice lattes, soap, candle, I mean, cookies, everything. All right, so everything is blended out. Next, what I do are my brows. So I'm gonna use the it, Cos it Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe. <sighs> There's always a good brow and a bad brow. I always do this one really good and then this one I have to clean it up because I can't get it right. So now I soften the edges. Now we're gonna clean them up. We got a little bit of concealer and a little little packed brush. I'm gonna get some on my brush and I'm going to just clean up the edges. That makes such a difference. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. I forget to do that all the time. I could. <laughs> I'm going to put on some brow gel. This is one from Mary Kay. I love it. I've been using it a lot. Can you tell? It gets really stiff, so I have to bite it. <laughs> this junk is like hairspray to your brows. Let me tell you. All right, so I am gonna put a little bit of concealer, just a little bit. You still want a natural look. I'm gonna do the tart shape tape. I always say a little and I put too much. Always, always. All right, where's my beauty blender? So you do the hard work at first and then all this, guys, if you set it good, will last you the whole day. So like I said, I have an event tonight, um, like a funeral that I have to go to. And um, all this should last till tonight. Just saying, if you said it right, you know, let's work on you later. This time is just so relaxing for me in the morning, to be very honest with you. I usually do it when the kids are, you know, in the middle of a class and my young one is sleeping. That way it's very therapeutical. I put on like a sermon from like one of my favorite preachers, J.D. Greer. And that way it's productive, you know. My favorite setting powder lately has been the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder by Essence. This junk is the real deal, and this was only like four bucks. 
four dollars so put in my beauty blender and i set my eye that way it doesn't crease it looks white, but it does look go on translucent. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going to get a fluffy brush and go into my Studio Fix by MAC. I'm in NC35. And I'm going to set the rest of my face. Just add a little bit more coverage. Now we're going to bronze. I have been loving the NARS um, Casino Bronzer lately. It's really dark, but I love because that way I, um, oh, and a fluffy brush. Y'all know this brush. <laughs> um, I can bronze fast. With the other ones, you really have to build up the color. But this one, if I go in on it just very lightly, I get a very um, intense bronze very quickly, you see? And the other one was Laguna. That one was just way too light. It looked more natural, but it was just way too light for me. I like to look like I was, I've been kissed by the sun. Also, we had a tropical storm yesterday. And me and my husband had no idea. We're just like, man, the day is just very yucky and it's like been raining the whole day. What's going on? And then we saw the news and we're like, oh, it was a tropical storm. I think his name was Gordon. Anyways. You see how you get like a bronze look so quickly? Just do the tops. Over here in your forehead, your cheeks go down. And right here. That's it. That's it. How quick was that? All right, next we're going to do blush. So I'm going to do, this is still my sample from NARS. Um, it's the orgasm one in pink. It's really pretty, the name. I don't know what to tell you. Why? Why? I'm going to get this. It's the same brush, but a different brush because the other one I use it for my bronzer. This one I use it for my blush. And I just put a little here in the side, high, high point of the cheek. I've been using this one nonstop for like, since my birthday, for four months. And I haven't even hit pan yet. I guess they packed a lot of color in this sample. Next, some highlight. You know, I love my highlight. So this is the Master Chrome by Maybelline and it's uh, the rose gold one, molten rose gold. I'm starting to hit pan. I didn't think I was ever gonna hit pan, but this is how much I use this highlighter. So just a little fluffy brush, high point of the cheeks, go into the eyelid, on the side, my nose. Nathan, is your time yet? Is your time done? All right. And then with whatever you have left over, you can go on top. I'm recording, but you, you can talk. It's okay if you have to talk, okay? All right. All right, next we're gonna do eyes. Eyes are quick. Because I usually do like to take my time to do my eyes, but when I'm just like, listen, I'm gonna be home, maybe running some errands, this is what I'm doing lately in September, September 4th, 2018. My everyday routine changes all the time. So I'm gonna use the Alomar Cosmetic um, eyeshadow palettes, Reina del Caribe. That's so pretty. But see, I can't be using these every day. Like, I can't be using these every day. I just, like, not even these. So I just do, that's Luke. Lukey. We have, a, we have a curious George. Dale. Dale. You're probably going to hear him for the rest of the video. Anyway, fluffy brush. We're going to go into Coco Taxi, which is this beautiful orange one. And we're going to do the crease. I know, Bobby, I'm coming. He's going to hurt me. All right, I'm going to go into this chocolate brown here called Cafecito. I'm gonna do an eyeliner, so we're gonna go right here in the bottom. And you're gonna hear my son because my kids are going in the room. Very softly. So you can do this as thin or as thick as you want. You can go all the way down to your crease if you want. And then with whatever you have left on the brush, you're going to go in the bottom. All 
All right, and lastly, what I like to do is get this really pretty pearly white. It's called La, Cost La Costa with like a pencil brush. And we're going to put this in the inner corners of our eyes. All right, so now we're gonna set it. And for an everyday uh, makeup, I don't use like my Urban Decay, you know, um, setting spray because that one is expensive. So I use my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Let's shake it up. All over your face. Make sure you set this so it lasts the whole day. And then with a fan or a piece of paper, you can uh, dry it. Very important for you to do this setting spray before you put your mascara because if you do it after your mascara, your mascara will run all over your face and will ruin all the work you just did. All right, now we're gonna do our mascara. So I'm gonna do my favorite Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I have this little trick that I do to make my lashes look very, very fake looking and dramatic. Um, I'll put that link below so you can see it. Also, if you feel like your mascara is drying out, what you could do is put a couple of drops of contact solution in there, shake it up, and then it'll be good as new. Almost good as new. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys this video was gonna be quick. I just said this is how I've been doing my makeup lately. <laughs> so let's clean out my lips. They still got foundation on them. And my go-to um, lipstick has been the one from L'Oreal, the 900 Glossy Fawn, which is their Color Rich Shine. Um, I made a video on this, I think last week. But this color is just, so natural, you see? It's a little glossy, but it's just very, very natural. Okay, and the last thing that I do, that I love doing every day to make my eyes look bigger is that I get a eyeliner, a white or a cream eyeliner, you see? And we're gonna put this on our waterline, which is gonna make our eyes look bigger, guys, look. This is the one from Wet and wild is called ultimate brow highlight. It's meant to highlight your brow bone, but I use it in my waterline. It's cheap too, I think it's like three or four bucks. All right guys, that's about it. All I'm gonna do now is just wait for my mascara to dry up here in the top and then I'm going to um, clean it up a little bit. But that's it, this is what I've been doing lately for like the past couple of weeks. Like I said, it doesn't, it's not a quick routine, but it's something that I'm used to that I could just do as I'm listening to a sermon, um, and it's just easy for me. Um, it's natural, but it's still pretty, right? You look put together. <laughs> all right, that's about it, guys. Have an amazing day. I'm sorry for all the chaos and my kids. This is how it is when I get ready. Sometimes it's worse, so this is actually a good day. <laughs> um, but that's it. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you guys take time out of your busy day to watch my videos. So I wanna share with you guys a few things I promise you will not take long at all. Number one, I accept prayer requests, okay? So if there's anything that you want prayer over, I have seen the power of prayer in my life and my family's life, just contact me in any way, shape, or form via email, via Instagram, Facebook, or even just a comment below, and I will add you to our prayer list that me and my family pray over every single day. Number two, if you have Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional Bible study, not too long, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but just a way for you guys to be spiritually connected with God every single day. So yes, check me out and follow me. And last but not least, I own an online t-shirt company, so you guys should totally check me out. The link to my online shop is all the way in the bottom. And there's also a coupon there for free shipping on your first order. I make very cool, comfy, faith-based t-shirts like the one that I'm wearing now. This is our Dusty Rose Fear Not t-shirt. I love this t-shirt, it's one of my favorite. But yes, you guys should totally check us out. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for listening to these messages and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.